Good morning from Berlin. Today is a really exciting day for me. It's the first time I do make a sunscreen review and put it online, but it is still pretty early right now. I do have my black tea right here, didn't even brush my hair. I'm like, okay, maybe to give you a little reality check here, I thought just picking up the camera would be a cool idea. I'm going to review a little bad boy from the Japanese beauty universe. It's this little bad boy right here, hope you can see it. It's the Skin Aqua, which is a Japanese brand UV Super Moisture Gel. I'm really excited to try this out right now because it, I have this for a couple of weeks in my drawer. Before I'm gonna review this, I give you some information about it. SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus, four pluses, that's cool. And it contains 100, 10 grams of product, which is a really fair amount of product, I have to be honest. If this works on my skin, like on my face, and I tolerate it, that would be pretty cool because it was also pretty cheap. I think I paid between 10 and 15 euros and I got this one from YesStyle. Okay, so what do we know? I do not speak Japanese, to be honest. This whole packaging is in Japanese and I'm not able to speak it, but I made my research and I translated most of it to get an idea what's inside, what I, what the claims are. And the claims are that it is sweat proof, waterproof, it's suitable as a makeup base. It also is color free, it's paraben free, it's mineral oil free. So we also do know that it contains some moisturizing components, for example, hyaluronic acid, which is really cool because hyaluronic acid is pretty, moisturizing it works like a humectant which means it drags water from the environment from the air into our skin and that makes it feel so moisturized and nice and comfortable to wear it also contains a fair amount of alcohol that's definitely something you need to know if you really detest it you don't like that i don't think that you will love the sunscreen I'm really excited to test out how it smells like an odor that is really alcoholy could be a little disturbing but i have to be honest i don't mind about alcohol in my sunscreen usually i even prefer it because most of the time especially in european sunscreens i feel like if they do contain a fair amount of alcohol they do tend to be super lightweight and fluidy and nice and comfortable to wear and it does not irritate me i don't think that alcohol itself in sunscreens do irritate any skin maybe if you are a really like a truly dehydrated extremely dry skin that could be potentially something that could irritate you then and it will do my skincare routine i will apply toner a serum and a ceramide treatment serum as well and without a cream because that is hydrating enough for me i also wanted to do is i wanted to give you like an, a real honest view on my skin to give you an idea of like how does my skin look like without filter i do not, i do really not want to use any filter so you're gonna see the full truth and i do also have like dark circles but okay well, I'm in my 20s, that means like I always have dark circles already. I'm gonna show you my skin again when I did my skincare routine and then we're gonna try out the sunscreen. I'm really excited for it. All right, I'm back. I just did my skincare routine. I didn't apply any cream type of product because I feel like right now with 32 degrees in Berlin, I don't need that underneath this little one. So let's just try it out. I have a really glowy base, as you can see. Shake, shake it. Okay, it's really liquidy, like I thought, because of all the alcohol inside. Okay, it's not too liquidy, but it definitely... Oh, oh, it's lightweight. Okay. I didn't put anything on, neither a cream or whatsoever. Like, I just put this now on top, and this feels really hydrating. Wow. Well, honestly, I know a lot of you guys do love this, like, two-finger kind of application method. Okay, so I just put... Now let's try. Don't be scared, this looks a little wild. I know, but I'm gonna work this in. I have a separate lip SPF, that's why I always skip the lip area. Okay, it feels really good. Super moisturizing and extremely lightweight. Take a little extra dot. Put it right underneath, not skipping any area. But 
so far no eye stinging and that is really good okay as you can see on my face itself it dries down beautifully i don't have anything that comes close to this as being lightweight although i also have i do i do have a lot of sunscreens with a lot of alcohol i didn't smell anything that's crazy let's continue please don't mind i just got bitten by a mosquito It's very important for me personally to have a sunscreen that does not peel on the neck. When I wear some clothing, like as you can see here, I also have like a little bit of clothing right here that could possibly rub on my neck. And I hate, hate it when, when it just peels off and I have everywhere this like little teeny tiny white, like whitish tingalonies, like little fuzzies. I also drag it on my neck, get a little bit more of product and I drag it on my, push it into my ears. So what do I think? I think it doesn't feel tacky, it doesn't feel sticky. It just feels like I do feel like that I have something on my skin, but it just feels like the same like when I applied a little moisturizer on my on my face. And what I truly love, it does not burn my skin, which is really rare with new products. Since I truly have a very, very sensitive, reactive skin, every single time I try out a new product, I get a little scared because I had really bad reactions in the past. But this one. So far, so good. Let's see how the eye stinging is going to be throughout the day. But right now, no eye stinging. Super settled kind of dewy finish. It's definitely not on the matte side, but it's not too much. You don't look like a grease ball. And if you truly, truly, truly hate that sticky feeling of sunscreen, I think this, this could be really worth a try. I always first set my SPF around the eyes because I'm really scared of eye stinging. I grab a brush like this, or even just my uh, my finger, my fingertip is also perfectly fine with this. I'm gonna show you both techniques I use to avoid eye stinging throughout the day because I believe that no matter how good the sunscreen is and you don't tend to have that eye stinging feeling, if you sweat, if you wait, long enough, like eight, nine hours, the product will still crease into your eyes and it's going to irritate it a bit. Just gonna wait a little bit before I set it to let the filters build a proper film. So I would just grab any type of translucent powder. Very cheap one you get in drugstores in Germany. Pretty cheap. What I do now is I take the powder and I take my middle finger, just press it in, dab the axis, and then I just slightly press it in and that will definitely prevent it to crease. Also put a little bit right here. Okay, where I also put a little bit of powder is right here. So the product on my nose is not gonna, you know, slide into my eye. Another technique is you just take a clean brush like this. I just stab it a little in, get rid of the excess powder and then I just dab it in. I prefer my finger technique a little bit more. I'm gonna do my second step that I also always do. I take some eyebrow gel, also a really cheap one. I just, you know, just using the Essence one. This is like my holy grail product. I love this one because nice form. See it? So the third step I usually do is just gonna put on some mascara. I use the, my personal holy grail, don't mind the looks, it's, it's already a little used, is the Maybelline one. It's not waterproof, just brush a little bit. That would be basically it. Honestly, this is what I would do and I don't mind hyperpigmentation. I don't mind like pimples. Since I wanna do a whole review and I know a lot of you girls do love makeup, I thought, come on, I'm just gonna do a little review on how makeup looks on top as well. The first test I'm gonna do is the concealer test. I have, it's a cute little mini NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And let's see how this applies on top of the sunscreen. I'm gonna come a little closer to give you... Oh, I do have... I have a little something something going on on my... On my eye. A little dust. Come on. It's a little dust. And there we have it. Cool. Okay, have it. All right. Okay, let's try it out now. Um, just gonna... I never put a lot of concealer underneath my eyes because... I don't know. I think I'm just lazy. If I do... I just use a teeny tiny bit. Let's see how it blends. Ooh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Does it peel a bit? Can you see this? 
Etsy really pills or if it's just no there didn't happen could have several reasons there why it pulled there i feel like this is no this is not peeling this looks good it actually looks pretty nice i would take a little sponge to see because it is sometimes for me hard to get in this inner corner i have very delicate skin on my inner corners i think does it peel I don't think so. This is really beautiful makeup base to work in the product. On the other side, they're a little, they're a little there. Is this the wrong color? I just used the wrong color on this side. I have two NARS Radiant Concealer. I have the shade Custard and Vanilla and I'm the shade Vanilla, but we just gonna make this work because um, there's no other option than making it work, right? just blend it out honest truth this does not peel this does not peel at all this is a great option for you if you're a makeup girl so far i'm gonna put on the maybelline four in one glow it's more like just a tinted type of moisturizer it's super 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 lightweight for this one i'm just gonna use such a little applicator like i said i don't want to use Ooh. I'm actually very impressed. I'm really impressed. This product really works great. And I mean, I really dab with this little sponge right into the skin. It's not like that I'm very subtle with it. No, I really, I press it in and there is no peeling. I think this is an, an fantastic option for you. And then you have this like nice protection underneath. I would definitely give it a go. This is really sheer just for your information because you can see you can definitely still see my hyperpigmentation just not as much as before and i don't think anyone should be ashamed for hyperpigmentation or acne i i truly learned throughout my whole acne experience that i had you can see here like a little picture of myself with uh, struggling with acne i really feel like having having dark spots having under eyes like dark circles under the eyes having hyperpigmentation like big pimples zest whatsoever is nothing to be ashamed of and i do get it that you may feel uncomfortable with it i trained myself to go outside no matter what to be confident and to just go for it i remember these times very well and if you struggle with it and you do want to have a little more coverage I think this is a nice option for you. I do have a little range of different blushes, powder and cream blushes. I'm gonna use my two most favorite ones and I'm gonna just gonna use them both like on top of each other. I'm gonna start with this little bay right here. I love this product. Elf, if you see this, I just wanna say thank you for developing this little product because I love it so, so much. I love the product, I love the formula, I love the color, everything about it is so freaking cool. This is the Elf putty blush this is really fantastic i don't own a high-end cream blush because i was always a little too oh my god can i really afford this or not and then i found them like elf and it's their formulas are stunning i swatched them several times i used them so many times now and i can definitely say this is a stable in my makeup line and i love this what i also love from maybelline cheek heat sheer gel cream blush a fantastic option just gonna here right here like a little fluffy brush, also by e.l.f. And I always take, it's in the shade Bahamas. Would really love to be right there. Just give me a second. I'm not gonna use any bronzer today because that would be a little bit too much for me. I feel like I don't, I don't need a bronzer at the moment. Now, it's the time to come to see if it pilled. Okay, ha, it didn't. It didn't pill. That's so cool. I love that. But I also always do the, with a little Axis product. I like to get on the bridge of my nose, just like this kind of little sun-kissed look. Blush kind of vibe. Now I'm gonna use some powder and I'm really excited to see how powder looks on top. So what I'm using is the Milani one, another stable in my makeup line. I know this is like a true classic. This is a true classic. I love this. This is in a shade Luminoso. It's pretty, isn't it? I feel like this is the prettiest sheen and I don't feel like you really need a highlighter if you're using this, but of course we're gonna use highlighter just to see how the powder product looks on top of the sunscreen. Okay, excess powder, okay. Can you even see something? I feel like the light is really crazy. So I feel like this product looks legit, love it. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter. For this I just have regular a uh, one from Becca. Okay. Liking it. Lip liner. I'm using the the shade Natural. 
And now I never use like tinted gloss. I always just use it my, especially in the daytime, just using the lip SPF. And that's it. That's it. All right. All right, I'm done. I just brushed my hair, did a little something something, and I think I really love this. I really love the finish of it. This is perfect. I'm gonna wait like six, seven, eight hours, and then I'm gonna give you guys a final review, and then I'm gonna score it. Okay, all right, I'm back. Eight hours later, I've been wearing this now for a long time, and I feel like I can definitely share my thoughts about this now. Let's jump right in. The first category is texture like the back of my hand again. Put on some product. As you can see, ooh, it's running, it's running. So it really is very lightweight. It does feel super, super, super thin. And like, I would even say it, it does feel like the lightest kind of lotion I, I ever touched. And it dries down absolutely stunning to give you a good example of how it looks like on dry skin again. And that you can see how it looks right now. There's still some product. I just have to work it in a bit, but I can tell you it feels fantastic. So texture wise, I would give it a solid nine. So my next category is white cast. Does it have white cast? No, 10 out of 10 product, no white cast whatsoever. I did expect it to be honest because Japanese sunscreens do tend to never leave a white cast, which is absolutely fantastic. Give those a go. Definitely. Next category, finish. I would say it's definitely on the dewy side. It's like really moisturizing. It definitely isn't matte, but I still feel like it's not too dewy. So even though you are you might be uh, an oily skin type, I do feel like this could be worth a try. If you're like extremely oily, I would just give it a shot and try it out because it's not, it's, it's really inexpensive for the amount of product you get. And it also is labeled as a body SPF. So it, although you might not like it on the face, you might like it on the body. And I really truly think that it is suitable for almost every skin type. So I would give this an eight as well. Okay, next category, scent or the smell of the product. Let's give it another shot. If I sniff it, I don't... Where's the alcohol scent? It truly dissipates quickly within five seconds. I don't even smell it and I'm really a sniffer. So I do sniff. I can, when there's an overpowering scent, I hate it. I can take it. I would say for the amount of alcohol that does allow the product to have this lightweight texture and to be as comfortable to wear, I would still give it like, ah, for me personally, this is a 10, but for people that do not like alcohol scent, it's definitely not overpowering. Next category, reapplication. I do feel like this product is really easy to uh, reapply with. It is so lightweight, you just put it on. What I would do is get a little tissue and I just slightly press it on my skin to get excess oil off my skin and then I just reapply it. There is no problem with this product. Overneath makeup, I noticed it does take away a little bit of product. I do take like this plain little spongy and I just press the product right in like at like five or four hours later. And I truly feel like there is no problem with that. I did have to reapplicate the cream product, a little bit of like also a little bit of powder around my eyes, but I truly feel like this is a great reapplication product. This is a 10 out of 10 when it comes to reapplication. Waterproof. Uh, I didn't put any like water on top of my skin. So I just tried it out with my hand, with the back of my hand. I'm gonna show you it right here. Definitely waterproof. When I remember, I do have a lot of comparison because I do have sunscreens. Whenever it rains, I, I really look ter terrifying to other people because I have these like white drops dripping down my face and this really looks pretty bad. And this one does not have that. And I feel like that's why it's a really good option. If you are in a rainy season and you're going outside having some fun, also a 10 out of 10 product for me personally. Next category, sweat wise, what do you say? I did sweat a lot, 32 degrees in Germany. I feel like there's, I, I do think the sweat proof test past it. As you can see, I am a little more shiny than today and today's morning. For example, I do see a lot of like sheen right here and I powdered it up a little bit and now it's again a little more shiny, but uh, I don't mind. I think this looks 
very great i don't look like a grease ball and let me tell you i did use some sunscreen whereas i looked like a grease ball. So 10 out of 10, sweat proof for sure. Is it truly suitable for makeup as a base? And I would say yes, but, 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 it depends. If you love the dewy look, this is a 10. If you don't like it, a four or a five. If you love the dewiness, yes. If you don't, nah. So I would say, a 10 and a four to five. It really depends on your personal preference. Is it neck approved? This is a category, honestly, which is super important to me. I hate it. I had this problem in the past years all the time that if I use some sunscreen on, on this area right here and like clothing was just rubbing on it, I had this like lady, little teeny tiny thing alonies going on on my neck. Not pretty. This, I believe that this never pills. I could do this. The pill? No. For your neck, this is a 10, 15 out of 10 product. If you're going outside, you have a pretty dress on, you want to make sure your neck is protected, but you don't want to have the risk of the pilling, go for it. Eye stinging. I do have crazy sensitive eyes since they always get like a little more watery. They get really reddish and irritated. I felt it slightest stinging like the slightest amount of stinging after like four hours but it really wasn't a big issue so i would definitely recommend to have some type of translucent powder with you if you are on the go i experienced sunscreen without ever stinging i would give it a seven is this one beard approved this is the test from my boyfriend as you can see okay let's see how it blends out oh okay no white cast how does it feel? Does it burn? No, it's actually pretty nice. It has a nice yeah. touch. It's not too sticky, like creamy. It doesn't, it's not too oily on the fingers. <laughs> so from zero to 10, what would you give it? 9.25. So it is definitely, definitely approved. Packaging, if I repurchase this one, I would definitely repurchase the bigger size because it comes with a pump because they're so convenient. And I do know if I have a pump bottle and my boyfriend sees that, he definitely is gonna be more likely to use this stuff because he's also a pump man and he hates to just always like get it all over and then to to uh, measure it up. So he's definitely also into the pump bottles and that's just, that's enough reason for me. I have to make it easy for him, easy accessible like We'll just put it on his face because we want to age gracefully. You also age gracefully without sunscreen. Just saying, it was just important for me because of the sun damage. I don't want to get. Uh, I, I just want to look good as possible with aging. We're always getting a little older. So there's my almost last category: scar. Is it scar approved? I do have this scar on my hand. It is extremely sensitive. Whatever I put on it, it will definitely react and more extreme than my skin, whatever in that says it all. So I, I would say this was one of the best feelings ever when I tried the sunscreen because it really did not anything to my scar. For example, my scar tend to get a little reddish and have like creates this little teeny tiny bumps all around it and it gets itchy like crazy. And that is really a nightmare, trust me, to have an itchy scar that you cannot scratch because it would make the scar, well, worse. This did not irritate anything. And my blouse was always on top of it. So I can be sure the sunscreen is gonna stay in place, whether I have clothing on top of it or not. 10 out of 10 product, by far. I would even give it a 20 if I could. So now we're gonna jump into the last category, which is an overall rating. For those of you who are seeking a proper sunscreen product that feels like nothing, like almost nothing, is really lightweight, I really feel like this is a great product. And I would give it a solid A because its performance in, in various tests really make it a worthwhile investment. But I have to say, I cannot give it a 10 because there are sunscreens out there that do not sting at all for me. Although it's the slightest, the slightest amount of stinging in my eyes, I, I do think I need to take it in consideration when I score this one. And if you don't like the dewy finish, then this could also be a con for you. And I think the alcohol uh, topic, I feel like, you know what, even, even if you don't like alcohol in your sunscreen, give it a shot. It really isn't that bad and it really dissipates quickly. This, the hype about this product, it's fine because it's definitely worth it.